It's eight o'clock. Good morning, I'm Susan Bookbinder. Royal Bank of Scotland has announced bonuses of £607 million for staff in 2012, despite losses of £5.2 billion for the year. The taxpayer-backed lender was involved in LIBOR rate fixing and faced mis-selling claims. LBC 97.3's Kath Stan Cheshire reports from outside the Bank of England. This is the fifth annual loss reported by RBS since it was bailed out by the government in 2008 and the amount has jumped up hugely. Last year, the losses hit nearly 5.2 billion, compared to just over a billion the year before. The taxpayer owns more than 80% of the bank, which still paid out millions in bonuses last year, but these city workers say a reward culture is essential. I think the fact that the British government owns Royal Bank of Scotland it means it's particularly important we should find the best people. In order to find the best people, I think you need to pay them market rates. Not necessarily to the extent that they do, but they should be paying some bonuses, because these guys work very hard and make the money over the long term. The losses are partly due to fines for RBS's part in the mis-selling of interest rates. Bankers in the city are facing a cap on their bonuses under new laws agreed by the European Union. It would set top payouts at a maximum of one year's basic salary despite opposition from London. Five London boroughs are among the local authorities planning to raise council tax next year. A survey suggests Bromley, Kingston, Lewisham, Harrow and Croydon are expected to reject the government's offer of extra money for a tax freeze. A Christian group is going to the High Court over a ban on its London bus advert, suggesting that gay people can change their sexuality. The mayor rejected the posters as offensive. The adverts from the Core Issues Trust are in response to a campaign by gay rights group Stonewall. Publisher of Pink News, Benjamin Cohen, has told us the group should keep their views to themselves. People can have the right to have them, but the question is should they be on the side of a bus? Um, I, a public asset that's driving up and down London. If it is potentially representing this could be the, the view, I don't know, of Transport for London. Um, it's something that tourists see and, and, and all sorts of other people. One of the women who's made allegations about Lord Renard is meeting with Met Police later. The former chief executive of the Liberal Democrats has strongly denied any wrongdoing. Former party activist Alison Smith says she thinks sexual harassment is widespread in Westminster. Voters in Eastleigh are going to the polls this morning. The by-election has been caused by the resignation of the Liberal Democrat MP Chris Hewn. Benedict XVI is to step down as Pope later. The 85-year-old is the first pontiff to retire in nearly 600 years. On his last day as the spiritual leader of the Catholic Church, he'll meet cardinals from around the world. Chelsea manager Rafa Benitez has criticised a section of the club's fans. His side beat Middlesbrough 2-0 to reach the FA Cup quarterfinals last night. The interim manager has told the protesting fans by creating a bad atmosphere, they're affecting the chances of success. I will pick my team and I will make decisions and at the end of the decision I will leave anyway because I am entering, like they say. If a group of fans, they continue with their agenda. It's their decision, but uh, they are not making any favour to the team, to the club and anyone. The FTSE's opening after closing up, 55 at 63.25. London's weather a misty start, but bright spells are expected to develop, especially through the afternoon, with highs up to 9 degrees. Currently at the Bank of England, we have 3 degrees Celsius. LBC 97.3, it's three minutes past eight.